This morning, some major changes for travelers heading to airports around the country. New rules affecting what passengers from certain countries can carry onto a plane. Very good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lionel Moyes. I'm Erin Kennedy. Some travelers say it's just part of life today, while others say they're plain frustrated. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli reports from O'Hare. The new rules kicked in this morning at 2 a.m. The affected airlines have four days or 96 hours to comply. Uh, I think it's ridiculous, honestly. That's how Shivam Kapadia views the latest Trump administration travel ban. This one targets electronics larger than cell phones, which can no longer be carried on an estimated 50 flights a day from eight majority Muslim countries. Safety is our first and foremost concern, I think. The affected flights originate from Middle Eastern and North African countries, including Jordan, Egypt, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Qatar, Kuwait, and the United Arab Emirates. Nine different airlines that all fly nonstop to the U.S. are affected by the new ban, which kicked in this morning before dawn. What did we do 10, 15, 20 years ago? We didn't have computers that actually worked on, you know, the plane, so deal with it, I guess. Banned items include anything bigger than a cell phone, including computers, tablets, cameras, and electronic games. From now on, those items can no longer be brought into the airplane's cabin, but rather must be stored underneath the cabin with checked baggage. We have kids. They like to play on plane, like, you know, how to, how to keep them entertained. The administration says the new rules are based on intelligence that terrorist groups plan to target the airline industry. Judge wonders why putting an electronic device underneath the cabin is necessarily safer. If it has a bomb, it has a bomb. Kapadia says the latest rules seem discriminatory against Muslims. He thinks they'll be challenged in court like other Trump administration mandates. Criticizing eight countries, right, that should not be... That should not be targeted. You think it's unfair? It's definitely unfair. If any of the nine affected airlines fail to comply, the Federal Aviation Administration could bar that airline from flying to the United States. In the International Terminal at O'Hare, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. All right, Mike, thank you.